Callum. It's just me. Hello, Callum. I was in the area, so I thought I'd check to see if you're okay. I'm not an invalid, you know. You know what I mean. It's good to see you, Callum. Would you like a cup of tea or something to eat? I've got your favourite cake. Oh, I would, but I've actually got to go in town, get some shopping before Sapphire gets back from work, and I'm on babysitting duty. How is little Chelsea? I haven't seen her in ages. I know. Things are a bit hectic. My boss hasn't been paid his money, which means I'm not getting paid my money. Oh, so what has... Listen, I don't suppose you can lend me a tenner, please? I went to get my pension yesterday. I'll go and check my purse. And you're a lifesaver. I promise I'll get back to you next week. There's no hurry. Thank you. Hi, Mary. Hello, Elaine. How are, you doing? are you all right? I'm just going shopping. I wonder if you needed anything. Oh, I should be okay. I got some shopping the other day when I went to the post office. I'm fine. You should have said I would put it for you. Oh, it's fine. I managed to get there in the end, but it's a nuisance since they've shut the old shop. Hang on a bit. Electricity. Electric? Electricity. I forgot to take the key. I can do that for you. Do you have the key? Yes, one minute. I've left it with the money. doesn't matter. I must have spent the money on something else. Don't worry, you pay me back later. Don't worry, it's fine. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm such a pain. Honestly, it's fine. We all mislay our uh, things. I'm always doing it, so don't worry, it's fine. Thank you, Elaine. Bye-bye. See you later. gardens too. It's still there apparently but it's all been cut off. So sad. Oh sorry no I haven't got any PPI. Mary, how many times? It's done. I'm just being polite, you know. I know, I know. And we've got to know each other so well by now that you can just call me by my first name. But anyway, you were talking to me a little bit about the brass bands you used to listen to. Yes, we used to love listening to the brass bands. Sit there and everyone joining in, clapping, and sounded so nice. When I used to go to the Isle of Wight as a Little girl, we used to listen to the brass bands. Oh, that's one of that. our pictures at the Isle of Wight. Oh, that's lovely. That was me as a little girl. <laughs> and that was one of Mum. I bet it doesn't seem that long ago, does it? It seems like only yesterday. So many years have passed. Mum and Dad and myself. <laughs> it's lovely that you've got these photographs to remind you of those times, isn't it? It's lovely memories and all happy. Tom, yeah? your mum's just gone out. Oh, really? <sighs> Come in here. Oh, okay. Wait for Mum. Yeah, she won't be long. <laughs> Sit down, Tom. Okay, thank you. Would you like a drink and a piece of oh, cake? Oh, yes, please. was 
my Ted. We were married 44 years. You look really happy. I never believed in love at first sight until I met Ted. That was taken on our honeymoon in Blackpool. We loved it there. We went to the ballroom there one night and we were asked to leave. Why? What happened? Nothing happened. It was just that they wanted to close the place and we were still dancing. So, what was he like? He was a true gentleman. I used to call him my teddy and he used to call me his sugar baby love. It was love at first sight. What happened to him? Ted died, love. Worst day of my life. He died all of a sudden, sitting in that chair. Oh. It's the living that hurt you, not the dead, Tom. Who was that elder boy giving you hassle the other day in the road that I was, I watched? Jack, Drake, it's fine, it's fine. It didn't look fine. He looks a right bully. Have you told your mum? No, it's not worth to talk about. You know, Tom, a problem shared is a problem halved. Well, he just says stuff to me all the time. He says that I won't be, I won't make it as a footballer. That's why he took the ball from me. That I will never make it. Footballer? Is that what you want to be? Well, uh, I did, but I'm not good enough. Who says? If you put your mind to it and put the work in, there's nothing stopping you from being whatever you want to be. We all need to have dreams, no matter how unrealistic they are. Otherwise, what's the point? Bullies are cowards and take enjoyment from making other people suffer. Don't let them dictate to you what you can do or what you can't do. Put the work in and make your dreams come true. Be who you want to be, not what other people want you to be. You, you really think so? I know so. I always dreamed of being a singer. That gave me something to aim for. You were a singer? Well, I sing in the bath. <laughs> I, I wasn't professional at all, but I did sing. Ted told me I had the voice of an angel. Then there was the brass band. Oh, what I'd do to have that time all over again. Funny thing was, my mum never had any chicken. She was invited by her uncle for Sunday dinner one day. And then they realised the children had to go out and kill the chicken. She never ate chicken for the rest of her life. They were the only family in the road in the East End of London that went on holiday. And each child, seven of them there were, had a bucket to, and a spade of their own. I grew up in North London, Tottenham actually. I've always been a Spurs supporter since then. That was our dog Toby. He was a smashing dog. Broke my heart when we had to have him put to sleep. Aww. That was our Jennifer. She was only young when we took her to the Lake District. <laughs> Is that you dancing? You look, you look really good. Tom, so thanks to the to Mary to have you in. Thanks, Mary. Thanks for the drink. Thanks for the food. Thanks for everything. Mary. You're more than welcome. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Mary, for having him. I really liked your history, Mary. It was really interesting. But Tom. Don't forget your dreams. And never let cowards win. That's right. Thanks, Mary. Okay. Thank you, Mary. It's been a I will, pleasure. I will make sure that next time he has his key. Sorry, Mum. Come on, Tom. Let's See go. You, Mom. Bye, Mary. Thank you. Come on, Tom. <laughs> It was so wonderful. Thank you so much.
Mary! Hello! Mary! <laughs> <laughs> 